But that brings us, speaking of the Mandoverse, to the Mando and Grogu movie. So at D23, yep. um, I've seen the video, you've seen the video. Yep. It's either John or Dave or maybe both come out. Um, I and think they're both out. They both come out and they're talking, you know, corporate jargon. And then they're like, we have something to show you guys. And so, cause they were saying like, there's no, we're not going to have another D 23 till right before it comes out or something like yeah. that. So then we had to show you something cause it would be a long time. And so they, they got a little sizzle reel for the Mando and Grogu movie, yeah. which is honestly like really surprising. Cause they just started filming within like the past month or so. I believe yeah. it was in it was in July, I think. And so they're filming. You get we're not going to show it, but yeah. you see Mando like he's on a snowy planet going to Imperial base. You see Grogu like going through, you know, like the little vent or whatever. You see Zeb. It appears yeah. that they're in a razor crest again in that clip. Yeah. You see the walker, back. you know, so yeah. there's some cool shots in there. For There's sure. some cool shots, you know, just your principal stuff, right? Like yeah. just your basics, nothing big. But I think showing Zeb there was pretty smart because yeah. it got we're talking about it. So it got people interested. It, it got people interested. You know, the Rebels fans getting in. You got Zeb on your shirt there just to talk I, about I it. So yeah. we're excited about that. The Night Squadron, shout out for the cool yeah. shirt. So I think like... Well, you want to say like Star Wars is back, you know, Yeah. whatever. I think Star Wars hasn't went anywhere, but come May of 2026, the dialogue will be Star Wars is yeah. back. That's going to be so. the messaging and it's going to be a lot of fun so. once we get there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm really interested because obviously we know nothing plot wise right now, right? There's, and there was right. nothing in that, uh, that sizzle reel that gave away really Zero. anything. <laughs> um, I'm curious how they make the jump from feeling like a TV show to feeling like a movie, right? Because everything we've seen so far, like, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like TV shows feel like TV shows. It's the writing. You have different. more time. It's different. It's paced differently. It can't be the volume every shot. Because I, yeah, and I don't, I don't want to go into this feeling like I'm watching a really long episode on the big screen so and i'm not saying that's what it's gonna feel like but i'm curious is how are they gonna make this jump that from this that we're so familiar being a tv show to making it really feel like a big movie on screen i i, I feel like there's a challenge there to to do that so i'm, there's I'm curious a chance as to that how that's happens. gonna go but it's john favreau that's my only yeah. thing is like he no, knows I'm, that that's a good office. point he does like, so he's got he a lot understands. of experience making big movies so that that big is a good movies. point so yep. I they they can't screw this up. Disney cannot screw this. they can't afford <laughs> oh, like they, they they're capable, but yeah. they can't afford to. You're right. And so right. and so Kathleen Kennedy, you know, it's like saying, you know, the boogeyman or whatever, but she has said she wants to go out on a high note. That was the reports. Yeah. Well, let's give her one. Like let's yeah. let's give her a high <laughs> note, get her out of here, you know. Yeah. Um and I think, I mean, you remember when Top Gun, the new Top Gun came out and it was just like, I never saw it uh, because I, I don't go to the movies that much. But everyone, like, rarely any bad things about it. Supposedly yeah. just simple action movie, like, appeals to the, the masses. Wrap up whatever story you're trying to tell, but don't get too cute with it. Because if you're banking yeah. on the Avengers type deal where you have to watch 37 movies to come do it, no, everybody ain't going to do yeah. that, especially these Disney shows yeah. on, on Disney Plus. So you better make sure like people can jump in and just kind of know, oh, this is this is the bad guy. Wow, he's yeah. ominous. And oh, there's our heroes. And here's the supporting cast and, and just a big blockbuster action, explosions, emotions. Put all that in there. Have some substance to it. Obviously, there's you got to pay off for everyone who has been watching all this. But mm -hmm. keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, that's yeah. the rule. Keep it simple, yeah, stupid. I, <laughs> I think it would serve them best if they really, if this movie really hones in and just goes back to focusing on on the two of them, the duo, yes. right? Like, there's been a lot of moving parts that came into play in season three, not Too necessarily many. for the better, right? Like. I think once the focus began to drift off the two of them, 
um, the show did did take a little bit of a hit. And so I I really hope that that's that's the goal is to really bring back the focus just on the two of them and their their journey through the galaxy. Um, I think that would do a big service to the movie. So, how do you think it's going to end? How do you think this story wraps up? Gosh, I mean. It, it, it's got to have some sort of tie in to what's continuing to go on. Right. I mean, I don't, I don't think it ends in a vacuum, not acknowledging the whole Thrawn situation. Um, cause that's, that's there. That's next. Right. Movie wise. I'm assuming that's. Yeah. Do you think it kicks off the Thrawn story? Like movie wise, like, like coming are we into just, the shows now, the are shows we getting back this being, but maybe Thanos so? level build up? I hope not because I don't think it needs to be because I think, I think Thrawn's story in and of itself is not like that type of buildup. I mean, his own story in and of itself is Thrawn's story is Thrawn. I, I don't know. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say with that. He's, I feel like he's already on the scene and he's there. Um, but to the casual viewer, he's that's not. true. Yeah. So maybe you do find a way to introduce him to people who just showed up because it's a Star Wars movie in theaters. So yep. they have no idea what's been going on. Yep. That's a good I point. Think, I think there... I think he's got to be there somewhere have, by the end. You I can't mean, have another big bad or you have too many going yeah. into the sequels. Yeah. So those sequels, they keep, you know, disrupting things. But <laughs> I do... Th- so my theory... I think Star Wars frees themselves of the Pedro Pascal dilemma. He's like the busiest guy in Hollywood. Yeah. Um, so I think we wrap up this Din Djarin story. I think they've hmm. kind of been getting us closer. I'm yeah. cool with it. If you don't want to be a voice actor, don't be one. Go be, go do The Last of Us. That's okay. Yeah. But don't hijack the Star Wars story because you don't want to be a voice actor. So let's take care of that situation. I think that's a great time to do it. I think we reveal Grogu as the Mandalorian. Okay, so it wraps that up because yeah. Grogu is the Mandalorian. It's not Din Djarin. It's it's going to be Grogu's story. He's right. he's the cash cow. Din Djarin is currently the Mandalorian, but at the end of this, it will be Grogu. And so I think what season three of Mando ended up setting up for us, going into this big Thrawn story, we've got Grogu on probably Mandalore with mm-hmm. whatever's going on there. I think yeah. they, you know, the Mandalorians play a big role in this fight against Thrawn. Not sure how all that kind of tidies itself up. Right. But I think it does get that. us to this heir to the empire story that we're going to get this new Republic story that in all likelihood, Ezra Bridger, Ahsoka, Sabine, Ahsoka could be your main character of that. Yeah. But you got to think it's going to be a Luke Han and Leia deal. At, in some capacity. Uh, if it, it's, it's a New it, Republic story. I mean, at some point, you can't keep moving into this plot line without them being present, right? I mean... You can you can keep Luke out of it. You can, because he's out doing his Jedi could. thing. But I don't think you can keep Han yeah. and Leia out. No, not not if you present this thing as like a threat to the entire New Republic, right? Um, so that will be interesting to see how they navigate that. That's that's tricky. How you do that, how extensive it is, how yeah. integral to the plot it is. Um, that that's gonna that, maybe that's tricky. Maybe business. it's just Ahsoka. I don't know. Like don't maybe know. you just go all in on her. That's cool. Maybe, I think but, it's like, great. But but it like you said though, it is weird if they don't show up. It's very weird. And so. <laughs> I not again, Ahsoka is like probably my favorite Yeah. You know, Star Wars deal oh, right yeah, now. It's not a knock to Ahsoka. It's just But I don't know that Ahsoka sells movie tickets. So mm. I don't know that Ezra and Sabine that's a good sell point. movie tickets. That's a, that's that's a great point. Yeah. So I do think yes, Mando sells movie tickets. So yeah. maybe they let him live and he maybe stays he in around. this big New Republic. Fight. Maybe that's but his I last last hurrah. Yeah, hmm. I don't know, but I could see it being the last stand for him, and then it yeah. goes into this heir to the Empire type story. Right. So it just kind of shoots you into it. That's 
that's my thoughts. It's going to be a long time till we know. Long time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, I, I, I hadn't really processed until I saw, you know, I knew it was a while off. Then I was like 2026, 20, 2026. 20, it's 21 months. It's, it's not away. soon. <laughs> yeah. So. 20, 21 months. So uh, you got a long time. That gives you a lot of time for reshoots too, kind of depending That's on. That's true. Yeah how your little seasons of stuff go that's, as well. So the story a good point. could evolve, but I think yeah. it probably wraps up this little Mandoverse story and takes us into the New Republic story is my yeah. impression on this. It gives us plenty that. of time to get yeah. Ahsoka and Sabine back. I can see that. Yeah, so that's that's what I think. Really excited for it, though. So Yeah, oh yeah. 